Hi students, I'm Pramit Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the terms, patterns and frameworks. A pattern is an instructive information that captures the essential structure and insight of a successful family of proven solution to a recurring problem that arises within a certain context and system of forces. The main idea behind using pattern is to provide documentation to help categorize and communicate about solution to recurring problems as well as the pattern has a name to facilitate discussion and the information it represents. A good pattern will do the following. It solves a problem that is patterns capture solutions not just abstract principles or strategies Secondly, it is a proven concept that is patterns capture solution with a track record, not theories or speculations. Thirdly, the solution is not obvious. The best pattern generate a solution to a problem indirectly, a necessary approach for the most difficult problem of design. And fourthly, it describes a relationship. Patterns do not just describe modules but describe deeper system structure and mechanisms and finally the pattern has significant human component all software serves human comfort or quality of life the best pattern explicitly appeal to aesthetics and utility when it comes to the design pattern design pattern is instructive information for that capture the essential structure and insight of a successful family of proven design solution to a recurring problem that arise within a certain context. The characteristics of design patterns are as follows. First of all, it solves the problem. That is, design patterns are not just abstract representations of theoretical research. To be accepted as a pattern, it should have some proven practical experiences. Secondly, it is a proven concept that is patterns must have a successful history. Thirdly, it describes a relationship. Patterns do not specify a single class. Instead, it specifies more than one class and their relationship. And finally, it has human components. Good patterns make the job of programmer easy and time saving and thus the human component and the factors and the interactive factors should be a good quality for a good pattern. When it comes to the content of design pattern, the contents may have, first of all, name of the pattern is used to identify the pattern as well as an a descriptive of the problem solution in general. Easy to remember and context related names make remembering patterns easy. Secondly, Context of the pattern describes when and where the pattern is applicable. It also describes the purpose of pattern and also the place where it is not applicable due to some specific conditions. And thirdly, solution of the design pattern is describes how to build the appropriate design using this appropriate design. And finally, Consequences of design patterns describe the impact of choosing a particular design pattern in a system. Some other type of patterns include generative pattern, non-generative pattern and anti-patterns. The generative patterns are patterns that suggest the way of finding the solution and a non-generative patterns do not suggest instead they give a passive solution. Non-generative patterns cannot be used in entire situation. And finally, anti-patterns means a pattern represent a best practice whereas an anti-pattern represent the worst practice or a lesson learned. Anti-patterns come in two varieties. Firstly, those describing a bad solution to a problem that resulted in a bad situation. And secondly, those describing how to get out of a bad situation and how to proceed from there to a good solution. And one more thing is the capturing pattern. The guidelines for capturing patterns include focus on practicability, aggressive disregard of originality, 
non anonymous review writers workshop instead of presentation and finally careful editing when it comes to the structure of a design pattern let us consider a singleton design pattern it has the following structure first of all it has a pattern name here we are naming it as a singleton secondly it has intent that is to ensure a class has only one instance a global point of access to it that is the intent and thirdly it has a motivation it's common in software development where some component developers specify that more than one object of a class alive make system ambiguous so we have to mention the motivation and fourthly we have applicability that is singleton can be used where there must be exactly one object and it must be accessible to multiple clients or objects and the structure is as follows the structure has the heading the singleton then it has the members that is the static int count means singleton data its functions methods etc and it has a and the participants in it are the singleton class defines a class function which can be accessed by a client for creating instance and seventhly it has collaborations that is client access to a singleton object solely through instance tens operation and finally the consequences it is controlled access to a singleton instance reduced in namespace can be subclassed and more behaviors can be added and can be modified for existence of more than one object based on the domain so this is the structure of singleton domain design class and another term should be discussed is the frameworks frameworks are the way of delivering application development pattern to support or share best development practices during application development in general framework is a generic solution to a problem that can be applied to all levels of development design and software frameworks and most popular where the design pattern helps on design phases and software frameworks helps in component based development phase framework groups a set of classes which are either concrete or abstract this group can be subclassed into a particular application and recomposing the necessary items frameworks can be inserted into a code where a design pattern cannot be inserted to include a design pattern the implementation of the design pattern is used secondly design patterns are instructive information hence they are less in space where frameworks are large in size because they contain many design patterns and thirdly frameworks are more particular about the application domain where design patterns are less specified about the application domain so my dear students in this lecture we had discussed the patterns and frameworks a pattern is an instructive information that capture the essential structure and insight of a successful family of proven solution to a recurring problem that arises within a certain context and system of forces and in pattern we can see generative pattern non generative pattern and anti patterns a generative pattern is a pattern that suggests the way of finding the solution a non generative patterns do not suggest instead they give a passive solution and in the term anti pattern we will discuss a pattern represent a best practice whereas an anti pattern represent the worst practice or a lesson learned and the frameworks are the way to delivering application development pattern to a support or share the best development practice during application development in general framework is a generic solution to a problem that can be applied to all levels of development so my dear students hope you had understood this topic so dear students kindly go through this assignment question the question is write in detail about the following first of all pattern anti pattern generative pattern 
non-generative pattern and finally frameworks so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the object oriented methodologies so dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best